Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our Venerable Breeds judge, David Guy, who is escorted... You join us now the for the finals of the Kennel Club's Venerable British and Irish Breeds competition. Now, these are so now breeds of dog that had well less well than 300 puppies registered breeds. last year. So they're going to come in one at a time. Now, they've been pre-judged, so our judge has already seen them. So first in the ring is the Mastiff from the working group. Bearded Collies, these competed yesterday in the pastoral group. Here we have the smaller frame of the Lancashire Healer. Also in the pastoral group, we have the Old English Sheepdog. A wonderful outline there of the Old English Sheepdog. And the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Two varieties of Cardigan of Corgi. This one is now the Cardigan. The first of our terriers coming into the ring. This is the Miniature Bull Terrier. Miniature Bull Terrier. Here they will be in the group later this evening. Followed by the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Another terrier, these real characters. This is the Dandy Dinmont. Now we have the Glen Terrier. Now the Another terrier there, the Glen of Amal. And another Irish terrier breed, the Ken of Blue Terrier. You will unfortunately notice there are quite a lot of terrier breeds that are here. This one, the Kerry Blue, popular in the show ring, but not so popular as pets. And now we have the Manchester Terrier. Bred as rat killers, these are the Manchester Terrier. Followed by the Celium Terrier. And nice to see responsible dog ownership in the ring as well. And the Celium Terrier here. Striding out beautifully. Now, oh. please welcome the Sky Terrier. Look at that coat. Wonderful coat there, the Sky Terrier. And the English Toy Terrier. English Toy Terrier, very similar characteristics to the Manchester Terrier that we just saw. Followed by the soft coated Wheaton Terrier. The coat of these described as shades of ripening wheat. That is the soft coated Wheaton Terrier from the hand. Distinctive outline there of the Bloodhound. Oh, just a little gallop on the way in. Followed by the Deerhound. Really graceful for such a big dog there, it's the Deerhound. And the Irish Wolfhound. Talking of bigger dogs, here we have the Irish Wolfhound, the real giant of this group. And here we have the Otterhound. The Otterhound coming Followed in. Followed by the King Charles Spaniel. Toy Moving to toy representative here, we've got the King Charles Spaniel. And, now the first of our and the first of our gun English dogs coming setter. in. This is the English setter. There are four setter breeds, and unfortunately three of them are counted Followed as vulnerable. So the larger the setters, this is the Gordon. Beautiful black and mahogany and coat. Setter. And then the oldest of the setter breeds, the Irish red and white setter. Tight corded coat of the curly coated retriever. The first of our spaniels is the clumber spaniel. The heaviest of the spaniels here, the clumber. And now we have the field spaniel. Our second spaniel, this is the field spaniel. Followed by the Irish water spaniel. Another dog with a really characteristic coat the there, Irish Water there Spaniel. The Spaniel. And the final competitor, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. I'll now pass over to our commentator, Marina White. Thank you, Jenny. So, our judge, David Guy, is going to take a closer look at these breeds, but as Jenny may have mentioned earlier, 
These breeds have been prejudged. So in our judge for this competition, David Guy, he's from the well-known Zonzita kennel of Griffon, Brussels. He's actually, actually prejudged almost all of the dogs time. that are here today. Is Just a couple that were too busy in the breed ring. So he's going to take a look at them. The first of those, the Bloodhound. This is a champion. This, it is a bloodhound, and it's from the hound group. This they can be traced back as far Maple as the 1300s Malazar. and are known as the sleuth hound. They were used on a leash to track deer and boar in the 19th century. And owned by Miss and L. We're looking Priestley. for a really noble, dignified dog. The bloodhound is originally used. One of the key features we can see there from the front, a wide ball. open nostrils, and that's so they can really but catch the scent very early times, of whatever it is that they're tracking. To track humans. The so this is one, one is champion Mapplemead Malazar of Quick Cotic. And has no interest so despite its size, the they should move that, with a free swinging movement, which we're seeing house. here. The Bloodhound. Now, as we mentioned, the judge has prejudged so judge all of the rest Giants of these dogs. So he's going to go round, have a look, and he's comparing them to their breed standard. So your breed standard is the description of the perfect dog for that breed. So we've got the Mastiff there, the Bearded Collie. We have breeds represented for Now, as we said, groups. less than 300 puppies registered for each of these breeds. And, really and there are 32 breeds currently on the Vulnerable Bees register. Breeds. And there are also some, um, some breeds that are, that are in danger of falling onto for that list. Less than 300 puppy registration so if you're looking here. round so and thinking, oh, I'd like to find out more line. about that particular so breed, you can head to the Kennel Club the website. Best. Example and you can also just search online the for the breed so club of that relevant breed. That have come into the ring today to compete at Many of these fantastic family pets, the setters there, our judges just looking at. These tend so to be have very list. active breeds that need to be stimulated, or some of them do have quite high maintenance coats. So it looks like we're going to have a short list here. And his first so so the, the Manchester, Manchester Terrier, Terrier is coming out. Followed by the Celium, the Celium Terrier. And the Sky Terrier. And the Sky Terrier. And the English Toy, the Soft-Coated Wheaton. The Soft-Coated Wheaton the and hound. the English Toy. And the Deer and Hound. The Gordon Setter. And that makes our shortlist. So, ladies and gentlemen, the English Toy Terrier for the remaining beautiful and the Gordon Setter and the Curly Coated that Retriever. That didn't make into David Guy's shortlist today, but what a fantastic opportunity for them to display their beautiful qualities in the ring today. So our judges selected eight dogs. And you can move those again. So he's just giving some instructions there on what sort of movement he would like from them. But the first to move is going to be the Manchester Terrier. So here we have the Manchester Terrier. So these were developed, unlike many of the Terriers, as vermin control in the cities in the Industrial Revolution. Compact and elegant on the move. But it's proven itself more than capable of adapting to family life. Next in our shortlist, we, we have the Celium Terrier, Terrier, named after the Welsh village of its origin. Really These went to ground after otters, badgers, fox, polecats. They should be oblong in outline, and you can see they're slightly domed between the eyes. Brisk mover. So now we have the Sky the incredible Terrier. coat here of the Sky Terrier. Long this breed played a part in the development of all the Scottish Terriers here, terriers. and we see it was used Not to hunt fox and badger. It should be twice as long as it is high, and that coat should be like a veil, but it's hard to the touch. And 
Now the English Toy Terrier. Here we have the English Toy this Terrier from the, the Toy Group. It was once USA called the Miniature Black and Tan. And again, evolved from the Manchester Terrier, which we've seen. Those candle flame shaped ears. So I mentioned before, now shades of ripening wheat. wheat. This is the terrier. soft coated wheat and terrier. Used for hunting fox and badger. The coat texture and colour is of utmost importance, as you can tell from the name. Should be free and graceful. Here to Scotland, known, formerly known as the Scottish So next up, we have the Deerhound. Originally, the Scottish Wolfhound dates back more than 500 years and was used for deer coursing. It's built for speed, power, and endurance, but should have dignity. So I mentioned there are four set of breeds. Unfortunately, three of them are on this vulnerable breeds register. This gorgeous dog, this is the Gordon Setter. Named after the Duke of Gordon, who introduced the breed to Scotland, and they should be built on galloping lines. Second of our gun dogs in the final, this is the curly coated retriever. Those really dense, tight curls help it to be waterproof. The oldest and tallest of our retriever breeds. That wedge shaped head, and they should be effortless on the move. So as we said, our judge has prejudged these. He has seen these dogs before. So now he's got his shortlist. He's just looking through, weighing up which one's got that extra bit of showmanship that's going to help it to win. So we're going to have a first and a reserve. Looks like our judge is calling for the boards. So who is going to be the winner? The winner is a beautiful Gordon Setter. I'm delighted. So this is show champion, Flaxheath, top model of Glen Morangi, owned by Mrs. A. Phillips and Mr. T. Watkins. Runner-up runner is the Celium Terrier. Terrier. Champion Zippo, Sleepy Sapphire Sun at Latara, owned by finest. Mrs. Bell. As I said, if any of those breeds have caught your eye, please do have a look on the Kennel Club website. The only way that we can save them is if people start choosing them as pets, choosing them as show dogs. But there we have our winner, the beautiful so Gordon Setter. That coat absolutely gleaming Gordon. under the lights here. This beautiful Gordon Setter is show champion Flaxseed, top model at Glen Morangi. So gun dogs are always show champions rather than full champions unless they have proved themselves in the field. So this one is a show champion. Looking at picture here today. Coat should be shining coal and lustrous tan. You can really see that there. Picture of health. And the Celium Terrier in reserve. Celiums will, of course, be in the Terrier group, which will be judged in the main arena later this evening. I think it's time for a lap of honour. So, winner and runner up of our Vulnerable Breeds competition. These dogs qualified by winning best of breed or best opposite sex at a qualifying show in the last year. And that Gordon Setter looking absolute picture there. Celium's got slightly shorter legs, so his lap of honor may take just that little bit longer.